Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Word. In this session, I want to have a look at subscript and superscript and how you can activate those features. So on the home tab, underneath the font group or in the font group, you have this little X with the two down, which is subscript and with the two up is superscript. So if I click on that one and then start typing, you can see that that is subscript down. If I want to put that back to the default font, I use control and space bar, and then you can see that that is back to normal. Now, if I want it to go superscript, I click on this one, and then I type my name again, I do a space because it's wanting to do auto correct, and you can see the difference. So that's down, that's normal, that's up. Subscript, superscript, and then control space bar to bring back the default font, like so. Now, if I press enter, come down a line or two, there is a key command that you can use for that, and the only point to these, you get the key command, so control plus equals is subscript, and control shift plus equals is superscript, even though it says plus plus equals works as well. So let's try that, control equals, Steve, control space bar normal, Steve, and then control shift equals subscript, superscript, should I say, and then control space bar back down to normal. So for example, if I type 23RD, when I press the space bar, word is set in autocorrect or automatically to go superscript for what it thinks is dates. If I go 24th, automatically goes up to superscript. But if I put 23, and I want that to be a degree, if I put a little zero, I could, well it's not a zero, it's an O, I could just do it like this, but then, is that correct? Because I could equally insert the symbol. Now to insert a symbol, if I go insert symbol, more symbols, so you want the a degree symbol, you can select the degree symbol for, for in here, you find it, or what you think is a degree symbol. So could be that, 176, I'm going to go for that. I've already given a key command to that, Alt 1, so you can add, add a key command by just pressing. So if I go a different, so if I go Alt Z, I've pressed that key command on the keyboard and it's unassigned, so I can assign that. So either Alt 1 or Alt Z will do this symbol. So I'll close that. And I could use that code, which I'll show you in a second. So I'm just going to insert this and then close this. I've inserted it twice, but let's just try a different one. So if I do control space bar to put that back to normal, best key command in the world, press enter, type 23, do alt 0176, let go, and it puts that in for you, which actually looks different to the one that it put in there. But that is the actual proper degree symbol and for some strange reason um, when you insert it it does it does it like that but it doesn't matter that's no good to me um, it's too small it's in superscript so basically it's superscript of that so I'll just prove that to you if I insert the symbol it should be the same symbol yeah it's the same it's slightly smaller is a bit disconcerting, but never mind. Let's try it again. 23 Alt 0176 goes in, and that's what I want. Now, if I press enter and I want to do a chemical formula, so H2SO4, for example, so sulfuric acid, what you can do there is you can highlight the two of these. If I use my control key, and then I want that to be subscript, so Control equals, and do that. Go back. That's it. Should have been able to do control equals. I must have pressed the wrong key there. Fn, I pressed Fn. 
but so the key command is if I do undo control Z yeah control equals is what I'm pressing there control Z undo control equals so I pressed the um, FN key instead of control um, so that's how you can do that so you can do it more than one at a time the long way around of doing all of this is is, is to go into the font dialog box from this little drop down arrow and select it there subscript or superscript and then click OK so if you're doing it all the time it's um, if I do alt 1 so there's that symbol that I did it's made it superscript control space bar type 23 alt 1 degrees type back to normal or I can do 23 alt 0176 that drops it in as well so the, even though it's the same key command it's it does it slightly different whichever way you want any symbol you can allocate a key command to or you learn what the number is now when you do the number you need to have a number pad on your laptop so a small laptop without a number pad is no use you can't just use the numbers across the top you need to hold your alt key down and you need to prefix it with a zero and then the number and then it should drop it in sometimes it doesn't work and that's where you would go and put a key command to it but that's all i want to talk about in this little video so hopefully that was of use to you and i thank you for your time i'll see you in the next one